So I'm back in Atlanta and the Pink Trap House is actually on this road. I'm going to do some PR unboxings. Shut up. Shut up your hand. My dad's actually having a big party tonight. Hey guys, so I'm back in Atlanta. I just arrived like from the airport and me and Ryan are going to just have a day in Atlanta because why not, we're already here. So we decided to stop at Krog Street Market first because I've never been there. And I've actually heard it's better than Pond City Market which I personally thought it would just be like similar so I never like wanted to go. Um, I heard that it was just like a lot cooler so we'll see. I did my makeup in like the airport bathroom so if it looks like kind of weird you know why. Also, it is July 2nd. I forgot to say the date. And I'm back with Bay. Did you miss me? Yes. Jenny's ice cream. Of course, they have a really long line. So ice cream is the best. Now we're going into the merchant. And I think it's like just like an everything store. Like gifts and stuff. When we were in the bubble tea place, I had to go to the bathroom and it looks so nice and I'm not the one to like check if there's toilet paper before I sit down, you know, and like do my business. And of course, there wasn't toilet paper. So I asked Ryan to get me some and to like do this like melody to knock to know that it was him. And I feel like not many guys would do that. So shout out to you, babe. Anyways, we, um, Ryan was gonna take me to a really cool sushi place, and it still is, but we went there a little too early. It's not even like open yet. So we decided we're on Howell Mill Road, and the Pink Trap House is actually on this road. So we're like, okay, let's go find it. So we just drove by it, and there's a literal mob of people standing outside. It's definitely not shocking at all that there's so many people out there because like it's been all over Instagram like it's two chains album cover cover right he made it to promote his music video or to promote his album oh and then it's on the cover like the same as his trap on it yeah so and also Ryan told me well actually I saw a picture too it was on Twitter that the, the car out there they thought it was like damaged or something so they towed it away I want to show you guys it's really cool you have like cops like just in case. <laughs> I'm not sure why, what they're gonna do, like just the house. Yeah, and apparently you can go in it too. There's a pink stove on it. Cook your dope. I'm not kidding. Oh lord. That's a fight. That's a fight. That's a fight. Oh, that's a fight. Yeah, yeah. That's a fight. It's a fight. It's a fight. So, that was pretty cool. As you saw, there was like a mob around it. And sorry if the footage wasn't that good because I was trying to Snapchat it too. But I think we're just gonna drive around here just cause like this place is so trendy and cool. There were so many restaurants that I wanna look up for future reference and stuff. Yeah, and they have like really nice stores. Like Anthropology, Lululemon, stuff like that. Sushi, Atlanta, the rooftop bar. Look how cool this view is for like a sushi place. We're gonna get a few of the sushi rolls and split them.
So how'd you like Oku? Better than Umi. No, you did not just say that. Nothing's better than Umi, but this is really good. The sushi was literally amazing. The view is so pretty. Ryan did such a good job. I think best job ever, like surprising me, taking me to somewhere that I didn't have a choice in. Well, you know what I mean. You didn't kidnap me, but like you know, you know what I mean. Like he always gives me a choice, and then I can never pick. So he did really good. You proved yourself. So I'm proud of you. Hey guys, so it's the next morning. It is July third. So one day away from Fourth of July, and today. I'm gonna have like an editing day. Like I'm slacking so incredibly much. I kind of hate myself for it. Like because I told myself I would like, you know, do my YouTube thing like this summer and just like really focus on it. But there's just so much going on. It's hard to focus on that. I'm taking online classes. Then I have like KD public relations. Then I have my own thing. And I just want to do so much for each one of them. But it's so hard because there are so many things and I can't just focus on one because like it's all happening at the same time, if that makes sense. Today, I'm just going to do an editing day. I need to post an Instagram for Katie, and I should do like a quiz um, for my schoolwork. I'm gonna try to unpack my suitcase. And I also got some, some PR packages, so I did wanna open those on camera as well. I think I'm gonna just like put on a little bit of makeup and then do that. So I will be right back, and then I can show you guys what I got. So I just did some quick makeup, and now I'm going to do some PR unboxings. So I'm going to show you guys what Ofra sent me. First off, we have, actually I just used like two of the products. I just couldn't wait for these. So this first one is um, the pressed powder oil control. I actually just use this under my eyes and it feels really, really nice. And I want to start getting into like that dewy look, but I don't want to be super oily. So I think this would be really good to just like put in those small little areas instead of like baking your whole face, if that makes sense. Next up is a blush and this is Raisin. And I only know of this blush because Desi Perkins talks about it like all the time. This is just such a pretty color. It's like a really warm, like red brown blush and I love 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 it I put it on my cheeks today so I mean there is kind of like a little bit of contour with it but it's mostly this and it just gives you like a really nice bronze look so another blush I got is format and let me see this blush is kind of similar to raisin but raisin has like a more red tone and I think I see like a little bit of shimmer in this yeah, there's like a little bit of shimmer in this blush, um, but it's still really pretty and obviously gives you like a bronze glow. I totally forgot to use this during my makeup today. I wanted to try it out. This one is the Ofra Bronzer Versatile Matte. And I really want to know like if it's going to be dark enough for my skin color. I did watch a couple of videos on this bronzer already and they said it's like really good. So I will keep you guys updated on this. Next up is a highlighter. And Ofra is really well known because of their highlighters. They're amazing. This one is in Blissful and it is just such a pretty color. I'm obsessed with Ofra highlighters. Right now I'm using Beverly Hills and it has like all of the colors in it. So you just like swirl it and like mix it around. Next we have some brushes. So this brush is brush number two. And and as you can see, it kind of has like that um, angled edge. Next up, we have brush, I think 25. And this one is just like a really nice blending brush for your um, eyes. And I really like this because it's really dense, so it can just like blend it real quick, you know? Then I got a tiny angled brush. This is brush number four. And lastly, I got brush 21. And this is just like a little fluffy brush. But these brushes are really nice, like the quality, I can feel them, and they're so soft. So next, I have so much hair care, it's insane. Okay, so let's get into it. This is all from Lanza or Lanza, I'm not really sure how to pronounce it. So this one is the Smoother Straightening Balm. So it says it straightens, curls, and waves without harsh chemicals. So this would be really good for someone with super curly hair. I mean, my natural hair is like wavy, so I guess I could use it you know, when I'm trying to get like super straight hair. Next is a curl define cream. Maybe that's what I need because my hair is just like a little bit wavy. So this one says keratin cactus complex brings curls and waves back to life. This is definitely one that is more for my hair. So it says apply throughout, throughout damp or dry hair, air dry or blow dry with diffuser. So I'm just gonna air dry because you know, a girl is lazy. It smells so good. Next up is Beach Spray. 
which, you know, millennials love these days. Oh wait, that's actually nice because it doesn't really have a scent and some beach boys now have like an overbearing scent. Like I know the Not Your Mother's has like that coconut scent, which is nice sometimes, but sometimes it's so overbearing. Um, it says create sexy, tousled, windswept hairstyles. My room's gonna be a mess after this PR unboxing. Next is thermal defense spray. I need this. Usually I don't cut my hair more than twice a year, but I usually don't have like extremely bad split ends, but I've been looking at my hair lately and it, I think it's time for a cut, which makes me so annoyed because I just hate cutting my hair and it being choppy and having to like start all over again, like growing out like natural layers, if that makes sense. Because usually I do get some layers, but it's so hard to curl your hair when you just got it cut. I don't know. It's like nice to hold on to like those split ends and like damaged hair. Sometimes like style is better in my mind. So yeah, I just like don't want to cut my hair, but I know I have to. Just like a little trim at least. So again, it's Healing Style Thermal Defense Spray. Apply this finishing spray to damp or dry hair. Um, blow dry and follow with flat iron if desired. I really need to start using something on my hair when I style it before I regret it. They gave me shampoo and conditioner, keratin healing oil. Like, this looks so fancy, first of all. And second of all, I'm running out of shampoo and conditioner. I was literally going to go buy conditioner because you know how, like, one runs out, like, sooner than the other? It says this ultra-luxurious healing conditioner replenishes vital keratin protein to restore hair's volume, strength, and health. Maybe I'll just use this and not get a haircut. I'm so stupid. I should have just, like, opened all of these before my shower because I could have used it. But yeah, I'm definitely going to start using this. My mom used to buy Redkins All Soft, so I literally used to use that for like three years straight. But when I got to college, I was like, okay, whatever. I'm just going to buy whatever I see. So I'm excited to try this because right now I have like OG NX shampoo and conditioner. I think that's what it's called. And it's pretty good. I mean, you know, it's basic, so it does the job. But I think I need a little something something for these um, split ends that are popping up now. I got dry shampoo, which is awesome, always awesome. I'm the type of person that can literally go four to five days without washing her hair and dry shampoo gets me through it um so this is gonna be nice but the only thing is that i really do like the dry shampoo that's like brown because then i don't have to like rub it in like crazy amounts to get the white out and the next one is lustrous finishing spray this firm hold quick drying hairspray delivers long lasting flexible support that fights frizz and humidity i need this during recruitment because my hair needs to stay all day. Like when I go to Orlando, my curls just don't stay as well. Um, but when I was in California, Arizona, San Francisco, my curls would literally last like three days and I wouldn't have to touch them just because it's so dry over there. But like coming back to Georgia and Florida, it's so humid. So hopefully that hairspray helps. Okie dokie, now on to the biggest box of them all. It's literally like bigger than me. This one is from Lip Taylor and they just sent like a bunch of goodies. Okay, let's start with the makeup wipes. I think I've kind of explained this on my channel before, but I'll go through phases where I just get so lazy and I'll just use makeup remover wipes to take off all my makeup. But then the other phase is back to like face wash every single night, like won't miss out on a night. I will never sleep in my makeup though. That is one thing I will never do, like no matter how tired I am. It says gentle oil free, so that's nice because sometimes makeup wipes are too harsh on my skin. Like I have really sensitive skin, so it kind of like burns my skin. So hopefully this helps with that. Next is Elizabeth Arden, and oh my god, I have received a PR package from this company before and they sent me a lot of Elizabeth Arden stuff. I'm not sure if I vlogged about it or not, but oh my god, I loved everything. So this is another Elizabeth Arden product. I'm going to open it up. Okay, so this is the City Smart Double Action Detox Peel-Off Mask. Oh my god! Peel-Off masks are so trendy right now. Yes, I'm... I'm definitely gonna have to use that later. I'm always looking for like new masks to try out, so that should be fun. So there's actually some more makeup wipes. This is the All May Makeup Remover Cleansing Towelist with Nourishing Rice Milk. Next up is Elizabeth Arden's Dare to Bear Body Bronzing Oil. <sighs> yes, girl. This is literally, oh my lord. Okay, I'm going to like test it out on my hand because I'm really curious to see. It kind of scares me though because it's just like an open bottle like not like a little drainer if that makes sense so I'm gonna have to be very careful with this. 
This is so pretty. Like, I just want to, like, Instagram it because it's so, like, aesthetically pleasing. I don't know if you guys can see it. It gives you such like a natural like shimmer to your skin and it's like perfect for summer. I have one of these from the body shop and it's getting low so this is perfect. This is Elizabeth Arden's Forever Bronze Bronzing Powder. Look at this packaging. That is beautiful. Like very like it's unique but it's like super pretty. Ooh, this is cool. I was not expecting that. So it has a blush, a little highlighter, a lighter bronzer, and a darker bronzer. This type of like a palette is really nice for traveling because it has like all of it in like one little thing. Oh yes. Okay, this is Elizabeth Arden 8 Hour Miracle Hydrating Mist. Let's see. Let's open it up and hydrate my skin because I actually didn't put on setting spray. And sometimes like in my mind, it's just kind of like the same thing. Like a hydrating mist is just going to like make it look not cakey. Which I don't think I look super cakey right now, but I'm feeling hot, so might as well. Again, this is just so pretty. It's very, like, very, very light. Like, not, like, a very big spritz. But, like, if you've ever been to a water park and it's really hot and they have those little, like, um, misters, it's, like, literally a mister. Of course, because it says hydrating mist and not a spritz, so. Then I got some Revlon Ultra HD Matte Lip Colors. They smell so good. They smell like, um... Like the cream and strawberry little like, they're not cough drops, but they're just like little candies. All right, next from Elizabeth Arden as well are these push-up lip gelatos. I am very excited to see what colors um, I got. <laughs> I don't want to tear the packaging, but I don't want to break my nail either. That is really cute. Elizabeth Arden's packaging person is definitely doing something so right. Okay, I must be dumb. I don't know how to get this out. There's like a little picture on the thing. Um, apparently you're supposed to... Oh, okay. I got it. Yes. That is so cool. Okay, so you push this little like thing up and it comes out and then you twist it out. Oh my god, this is so pretty. That feels so nice. It's really hydrating and I'm kind of like looking for that for like my summer makeup routine. Because I don't really want to wear a matte liquid lip all the time. This is like a fun color. It says, this color is um, Tangerine Dream. Kind of matches my shirt today. <laughs> it's really nice that they have that diagram on the packaging because I would never have figured that out. Next up is the Lasting Impression Mascara from Elizabeth Arden. Last time they sent me mascara, I was in love with it. This is like a really interesting brush. And also, can we again talk about the packaging? Matte and gloss in one. I swear, their packaging person is doing it all right. I love it. Next is the Elizabeth Arden's Little Black Compact. And this is, okay, this is really cool. So one side is just like a normal mirror, but the other is like a magnifying mirror. And that's really nice. I think I'm gonna like throw this in my purse and just have it always. Next is Elizabeth Arden's Eyeshadow Trio. This one is an Oh So Pink. They're super pigmented. I don't know if I would wear like the pink colors, but there is like a little bit of like a brownish taupe shimmer in it, which I might try on my lids one day. Um, next, I have Sheer Kiss Lip Oils. This one is in the color Nude Oasis. I'm so dead. It almost looks like a little perfume, doesn't it? Like, okay, how, did, how do I open this? Okay, whoa. Shut up. Shut up. It is literally a squeezy tube. I've never seen anything like this before. It's a couple hours later and my dad's actually having a big party tonight. He is known for his parties. Like, people in the neighborhood kind of hate him for his parties. I'm kidding about that. He like warns them and stuff, but yeah, tonight's gonna be big and at first I wasn't invited, but he invited me. So <laughs> I'm gonna go because free food. But usually he'll have like a guy like making naan and stuff like there. There's gonna be a lot of good food, like lamb chops and a lot of Indian food, which I haven't had in a while. So Ryan's gonna come later on and we're gonna go, well, basically downstairs for me. The theme is like Miami sexy. So I was like, okay, dad, what do I wear for that? And he was like, I don't know how I'm woman dress. And I was like, okay. But I actually just remembered that I have an outfit because I just got like a lot of clothes on Boohoo. So this like super flowy top, it's just like a tube top, but like a flowy tube top. Then it comes with these pants and they're like bell bottom pants. So I thought this was like really Miami. Oh, oh, oh.
Mm-hmm. <laughs>